What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to fold the two interlocking rings designed by Jeremy Schaefer, and this model uses one square sheet of paper. So, let's begin. So, uh, begin with a water bomb base. So, fold this corner over, or fold it diagonally, fold this point to that point, fold and unfold. Hope I get this in the frame. And next, unfold, fold this point to that point. Flip it over and fold this point to that point. Next, you're gonna want to open uh, this pocket here, as you can see there's a pocket, and then push the sides together, like that. And then, that's how you make the water bomb base. So, you want to begin by folding this point down to that point, there at the bottom. And then you're gonna uh, need to crease these creases really sharp. And unfold, uh, fold this crease to land on this edge, like that. So you're folding this section in to uh, thirds, no, uh, fourths. Yeah, you're folding this section into fourths. So, yeah. Fold and then fold this point to that point. And then you're going to open sink in and out along these creases. So what you want to do is you want to partially uh, unfold here. Well, actually not partially. And then uh, make sure uh, this outer perimeter is all mountain folds like that and then this uh um yeah uh this inner perimeter all valley folds like that so it should pop up like that and then this uh, inner inner perimeter to be mountain folds. I want that to be mountain folds. So mountain, valley, mountain. Okay, and now I uh, just push everything together. And now that's how to do an open sink. Next, you're going to want to make turn this into an X thing. So in order to do that, you take the center, you pop it out, and then uh, fold it like that. And then you just take these flaps and fold them into the X. And then flat the center. And then this X is not symmetrical, as you can see short flap, long flap, as you can see it does, it's not symmetrical. What you want to do is you want to take the short flap and fold it over. You also want to take the long flap and fold it under, I mean over, and the flaps that you're folding over should be the flaps that are under this flap. And then now you're going to make the thing that 
and you can see how uh, this, this is designed, how these will roll up like that, and then these other flaps will roll up forming the rings. You're going to make the lock that does that. So you're going to fold this up like that, and then squash fold it. So it's like that. And then you're going to repeat. Same with this side. Like that. And then you're going to take this flap and fold it up. But you're going to take this flap, fold it up, but... You're going to take this and uh, fold it under, like that. So, this, sh this flap should be on top, and the flap on this should be on the bottom. Next, you're going to take this small flap, uh, take that, and then insert the flap into that pocket. You can see, it just taking that and inserting it into the pocket. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and flatten it because this is going to uh, be the last step on how you lock it. So you're gonna take this and open it up and you see it. there's an edge there. You can just push that edge over to the side and then bring this flap up and flatten it and then you can just fold it back like that and then really flatten it and that should keep this uh all really tightly locked like that and then just round out the ring shape it to your likings and now we are we're gonna do the other side so, fold both the flaps over, and then, uh, repeat. So, it's the same process. The exact same process as to the other flaps. And once you've locked them together, just uh, shape them so that they look like they're uh, perfectly interlocked. And there it is, the two interlocking rings designed by Jeremy Schaefer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Bye!